However, the stall warning remains operative. Stall, stall. The flight is in alternate law. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Captain SQ, where we're going to discuss on Airbus systems, emergency procedures, and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. A320 unreliable speed courses and steps to take. Disclaimer, always refer to your company manuals. This video is merely a guide. Before we start, do smash the like button and subscribe if you find this video useful. Okay, let's dive in. The most likely reason you get wrong airspeed data or altitude information is an obstruction of the pitot or static probes. The ADRs detect most of the equipment failures affecting the airspeed or altitude indications. What are the failures you can have? It will be the loss of, of associated speed or altitude indications in the cockpit. The ECAM alerts that will come out such as below. However, there are some cases where the ADRs do not detect a discrepancy and no ECAM alert is triggered such as block static or pitot tube. The cockpit indications may appear to be normal when they are actually false. Indications to look for will be the first indication will, will be a discrepancy between the captain's PFD, FOPFD, and standby instruments. Okay, let's dive into the memory items. Simultaneously, turn the autopilot off, the auto thrust off, and the flight directors off. I repeat, simultaneously turn the autopilot off, auto thrust off, and flight directors off. Below thrust reduction altitude, pitch to 15 degrees and set to toga. Above thrust reduction altitude and below flight level 100, pitch to 10 degrees and set to climb thrust. And above thrust reduction altitude and above flight level 100, pitch to 5 degrees and set climb thrust. Maintain your flap configuration if you are in flaps 0 to flaps 3. If flaps is in config 4, select config 3 and maintain. Speed brakes check retracted and landing gear check up. Yeah, the speed brakes looks bigger in this picture. So please don't be fussy, okay? When reaching circuit altitude in VMC or above MSA, the crew must level off. The RA may be used at low level to determine the altitude. The crew must apply unreliable speed indications or ADR check procedure from the QRH. Check that the actual slats and flaps configuration on the ECAM since the flap auto retraction may occur. Adjust pitch in order to fly the required flight path. When target pitch is reached, adjust the thrust to target. When the aircraft flight path is stabilized, the crew can then problem solve. Let's move on to the backup speed scale. When below flight level 250, if the crew cannot identify the affected ADRs or if speed indications are unreliable, the flight crew must turn off all ADRs and fly the aircraft using the BUSS, the Backup Speed Scale. The flight crew must first apply the associated ECAM actions. When the ADRs are off, the PFD changes to the BUSS. The BUSS replaces the normal speed scale. It is based on the angle of attack information and enables the crew to safely fly the aircraft without any valid airspeed indication. The GPS altitude replaces the barometric altitude but the last two digits are replaced by amber lines due to the GPS inaccuracy. The vert speed indication is unavailable as shown on the green circle on the right of the PFD. 
when the bus is active the autopilot and FDs and auto trust are on inoperative however the stall warning remains operative stall, stall. the flight is in alternate law so your high angle of attack protection and VMO MMO warning are lost and you will go into direct law when the gear is down following the ECAM actions apply the all ADR off QRH procedure the QRH will provide guidance to manually control the cabin pressure and you can prepare the, for the approach and landing flying technique the pilot flying adjusts the pitch and thrust to maintain the angle of attack in the green area of the speed scale caution when flying in the BUSS please do not use the speed brake and on the approach the flight crew must fly on a stabilized approach and change the aircraft configuration when wings are level fly to the lower part of the green band then extend the flaps and do this for all the flaps when you are in flaps 2 extend the landing gear the landing gear is gravity extend with no retract available so you have to do three hand crank turns and then lower the landing gear manually to refresh your memory the first crank the first turn is to depressurize the green hydraulics to mechanically move the cutoff valve and the second turn is to mechanically release the landing gear door up locks and the third turn will be to mechanically release the landing gear up locks when the landing gear is down it will go on to direct law landing will be in flaps 3 fly the bug which uh, indicates the VF in case that you need to go around uh, there is no landing gear retract and before you retract the next flap configuration fly to the upper part of the green band and the pilots should select flaps 1 for go around flaps so that's it i hope you do find this video useful a320 unreliable speed and i'll see you in the next video